Now we're going to make this little Christmas tree. You can make it in just the color you like. It can be red, green, blue, black. This is white. I make it in white. You can decide yourself. Uh, to the little tree, I need some tin foil. And I take about this size, I think. I try this size. And I I need some more space on this table. I put it together like this a couple of times and squeeze it together. I make the, I try to make the bottom first. It's the biggest part of the tree. And then I squeeze it uh, together so it get gets thinner and thinner. Oi, that's a big one. Hey, have you seen? This is a very big. You can make the trees just uh, in which size you want. It's the same uh, way to doing it. So I have some uh, white yarn here and I start to wrap it around the tree. You don't have to start in a particular uh, place. Oh. Hmm? You know, sometimes, I don't know, there's a little one who are cheating me when I'm doing these things here. You can see it's very easy to wrap the, the yarn around the tree. This one was a little bit bigger than I, I, I was uh, thought I was doing, but you can see it's very easy and it's very quick to make this tree. Uh, in uh, the schools here in Denmark, they don't have a lot of money to make these things, so they have to get it from their mom and dad or friends uh, who are available in yarn and bottoms and uh, things who are very cheap. So uh, I think maybe it's the same uh, in your school. That all must be very cheap today. But you can make some nice things also with uh, recycled things. Um, it don't have to cost a lot of money to get uh, nice and beautiful. It depends on who you are and what you're feeling for, what, which taste you've got. So now the three are almost done. You can see and maybe you can have a a little game going on with your companion on the side and see who can make it three uh, the quickest in how many minutes. So, but just for fun. You must have fun when you are doing these things here. Now the tree is done. I press it a little bit uh, uh, together in the bottom like this. I cut the yarn and you know I use my uh, hot glue gun uh, to make it uh, easier uh, and it uh, goes more quickly. 
uh, if we should wait on the white uh, glue. Then with the scissor, I make a little hole in the bottom here, up in the tree, just a small one. And then I have a tricks from the nature. You can pick one uh, on your way to school, maybe. That's a good idea. I cut it like this. Whoops. <laughs> Away it went. Then I put some glue in the hole and press the picks up into the tree, like this. Uh, I've cut a circle in this, uh, it's from an old box, and I cut the circle in freehand, so uh, don't, you don't have to use a gla glass, a little glass to draw after or anything. With the scissor I make a little hole in the middle and I put glue in the little hole and I put the tricks into the hole and hold until the glue is cold and dry. You don't need to take care of the big size of the circle because you cover it with a cotton when you put it on your escape pit over here. And the next step is to uh, glue I have glue uh, bottom on, on my tree and a star in the top. And when you put it uh, here, you can see you cover it with the cotton. That's very smart. 